And I can't remember exactly what we did last time, except I think it involved a woohoo. And we now have this this young lady in the place who's casting smouldering looks at our, our hero here. And uh, I think if you look here, it's it, um, yes, he's a, he's a bit of a player, this guy. He wants to woohoo with three different sims, have two loves at once. So I think we might actually work on that. Uh, not certain who with. And if he wasn't ready to pass out, we'd do it now. But uh, he's he's ready to pass out, so let's not do it now. Let's uh, get a few bits and pieces done. So... Look at this. Oh, I see you have a money plant. Let me harvest it for you. How very nice. How very, very nice. So, there you go, watching TV. That'll cheer her up a little bit. Uh, not a lot. Let's change channel. Change to Kids Tube. There, that'll, that'll, that'll make you happy. Uh, yeah, that's better. Right. <laughs> oh, that beard. <laughs> oh, look. Is it me or have the cornflakes developed her own civilization? And she's eating them! Yes! Great stuff. Right, okay, what's she up to with you? You're, you're, you're having no fun, are you? Well, I'll tell you what would be fun. Aren't you answer the phone? That would be enjoyable. And then you can join in watching the telly. Hey Tiara, is Duncan ready available to talk? No, he's off to bed. Yeah. For some reason he's decided to sleep in one of his children's beds. And why and why not? And why not? One thing they did right in The Sims 3, and I don't think they did a huge amount right in The Sims 3, but one thing they did right was allow you to set bed ownership. There you go, sleep there. I do love the TV programs they have in there. I was going to lock the money plants away, but uh, yeah, you guys see me play this game. I don't play it in between. And quite frankly, I'm not entirely certain we have anywhere to lock it away. But, um, I suppose we could put it in this bedroom here, but that's going to put a dent in some of his amorous intentions. So what's the time? 7pm. Oh. I'm standing in a strange man's bedroom. I just swooned over him. And why not? Hello, bit late. So these guys cheered up a bit? Yeah, you've cheered up. Right, let's get some of this homework done. Do homework. Yeah, and you, yeah, you do homework as well. Okay, and then you can use that. And I think actually it's time for you to sleep. Actually, I think no, I'm not sure. Bed. So there we go. And do the same for you. You can get some sleep. Right, speed this up a little bit. Ah, I see uh, the bit box in the house. So, right, yes, actually, thinking of Hopathalon, I, I, as I revealed yesterday on April's livestream, we finally have the Spreadshirt Shop going. And I know that there is, I know there's one t-shirt up there at the moment. Um, and problem is, every time I tab out The Sims, it stops the music from playing, which is kind of feats the object. Uh, so I can't look at it just this second, but uh, if somebody could put it in the chat, it's uh, hopeathlon.spreadshirt.com. 
Uh, please go along and please buy a t-shirt. There's one up there at the moment. I know the male version is up, but the girls um, version should be coming along very soon. And there's going to be three more designs coming up, hopefully before the start of the Hobathlon. Um, the uh, the winners and the runners up of the t-shirt competition and the Hopathlon Hippo as was designed by the lovely Andy Ray Sim so let's have a look and see what we're doing here ah, she doesn't want to leave this house does she oh well what state is our hero in in fact to be totally honest with you is she leaving? She's leaving. Oh, well, let's not wake him up then. I was thinking perhaps we could uh, get him up and, and get him to uh, entertain her a little bit, but no. Nope. I'm so very sorry to hear that you've had a bad day, Hayley Round, and I, I'm, I hope, I hope, to be totally honest with you, um, yeah, things things have, things pick up. Things pick up for you. Um, is it legal to strangle people to death if they really deserve it? Um, yes. However, sometimes you have to ask yourself, is going to jail for 20 years worth the price? And sometimes the answer is yes. So, let's get these guys... Right, okay, it is morning. And everyone's getting up and quite dutifully making their bed. Isn't that nice of them? Okay, so you, your need is great. And let's clean this up. And let's serve breakfast. Some cereal. There we go. And you, young lady. Water. Harvest. Water. Harvest. And then by that time, this should be free. And you. Ooh, your need is great. Why don't you come down here and have a snack? Have some cookies. There we go. That should pide you over. You could be second for using the loo. In fact, let's get rid of that for a sec. Oh. He's not going to take no for an answer, is he? Okay. You just wait until Dad's finished. And then, off you go. Okay, alright. See if we can get a bit of fun in you before you have to go to school. Okay, right. Oh dear, oh I forgot they had to do that, good lord. So yes, in The Sims 2 you have to restock. Forgotten about that. Oh, I wonder. I... Unlock, there we go. Oh, use. Okay, see you in a sec. Come on, in you go. Use. No, you're not going to use. Okay, well, don't use then. It's as simple as that. I think it's, you know, if we get a bit of cash in, it's time to start thinking about redesigning this, uh, this place. There we go, right. And you... Have a snack, have some cookies, and then perhaps you can watch the teddy for a little bit. And you, what state are you in? Okay, let's see if we can get a quick shower in for you. Oh, perhaps not, perhaps not that, and yeah, you'll be alright there. Uh, 
And unfortunately, this means they're going to get out before the uh, the babysitter kills them, which is yeah, quite lucky, really. I do. I'm so flattered. It's be I think it's because I moisturise. I remind her of the babe. Mm -hmm. Don't ask us. If we, if you don't know what you're about to do, how are we going to? Oh, are they going to get to school? I don't think he's going to. Are you going to get to school? Yeah, come on. Need you to get to school. Come on. Oh, right. Okay, so let's get you to school, shall we? Walk to school. There we go. Right. Show full. Now off you get. Off to school with you. Interesting music. Okay. Duncan is taking the roll sheets in front in the front to the front office just after the morning announcements. When a frantic mother bursts through the front door with her young son training behind her. Stop right there, the mother yells at Duncan. You cannot turn in that roll sheet. Taken aback, Duncan informs the woman that yes, he can turn in that roll sheet. Flustered, the mother reveals that her child is tidy once more. He'll have to repeat the third grade, and it just isn't right, because it's her fault he's always late. With the pleading mother on her knees before him, Duncan is faced with the choice of turning the roll sheet as is, or fudging it a bit to give the young boy one more chance. What should we do? Should we turn in the roll sheet, or should we alter the roll sheet? I've given. I got to be. I got to be honest with you. I mean, uh, uh, there's a third alternative here that uh, that pops to mind. Uh, you know, um, Duncan saying, "Well, seeing as you're down there, just let me unzip my trousers." Okay, so. Yeah, so I think we're we're going to go for alter. Let's see what happens. Duncan has no desire to see children suffer because their parents don't use a watch, so he decides to challenge the child for a chance to get back into class. Using the names of the children on the roll sheet, Duncan designs an algorithmic word problem that must be deciphered using basic fractions, long division, and spelling. The student takes a minute analyzing the facts, then takes another few minutes to jot down his answer. Duncan is delighted to see that he answered the question perfectly, but even more delighted when he realizes the principal saw her te her her teaching skills in action. For handling the situation like a true educator, the principal promotes Duncan to substitute teacher, which is great considering he wants to be a dancer. Never mind. Oh. Right, Duncan is is being promoted. Let's see what this. Uh, so he now earns two hundred and twenty-five a day. Still the same hours. Well, actually, why has he come home? Oh, is he come home because he got promoted? And he's got to get two points of charisma and a point of cleaning in order to get promoted. But for, let's do some things first. Water. Harvest simoleons. Water. Harvest simoleons. Oh, he needs one more friend as well, I think. So that went well. And who's this? Oh dear. I don't think we're seducing this one. Nope, I don't think we're seducing that one. Okay, kids, a chance. See you in a bit. Oh, quick, quick. Guess it. Get to the money plant. There we go. Right. Okay. 
Now, what should we do? He wants to eat cereal, and he wants to woohoo with three different sims. I suppose we could try charming her. Um, yeah, that always disturbs me. Um, so, right. What should we do? Let's talk, chat, talk, uh, no, not play, talk, ask about hobby. Oh, she's into cuisine. And then I think we're going to have a quick look at jobs. He's decided he needs to have a shower before he does anything. Well, fair enough. He knows his own mind. She's decided that what he needs is somebody to rub him down, so, well, hey, okay. Is she going to flush the toilet while he's in the shower? No. She's just going to stand in front of the loo and go into labour. Okay. He does. Roiks. Well, I think he had a good impression on her. Um, yes, you trapped me in the bathroom and talked to me for hours. I think it's time for me to run away. Intelligence, look again. There's no evidence of intelligence in this family. Entertainment, no, look again. Science, look again. Medicine, look again. Criminal, look again. No more jobs. Okay, right. Uh, call Sim. And then I think we need to get you some. Uh, obviously, we need to. We need to go shopping, don't we? Have a chat with Michelle Zay. And then call service. Okay, um, adoption butler, garden gardener. Oh, I thought you could get food delivered. Can you not do it that way? Um, uh, no, actually, it doesn't look like you can. Right, you! Walk to lot, community lot. Let's go get some shopping. Get some food in you at the same time. Right, Blue Water Village. Uh, actually, is there anything in Veronaville? Verona Market. There we go, that'll do. Let's go grocery shopping. He still stood out there. And now he's following him a street distance away. That's in no way suspicious. Ah, loading screens. I've missed these. Reminds me, I was so disappointed to find out that Moussaka has no actual moose in it. It just seems wrong. No, oh, okay, so what are we going on about here? We are... Um, duck season, wabbit season, duck season, wolf season, goose season, and the return. The return of Shizzy. And there's fear and trepidation in the chats. And yes, that's precisely the point. It was a terrible joke. As if I do any others. Yeah, 
It's funny how you say things, they, they have different meanings, you know. Moose season means that you know, this, is, this is the time for someone to shoot moose, but the season of the moose is something totally different. Oh, him! I remember him! Okay, this is something that really, really amused me. It seemed to be every single place I went shopping in, he was the guy behind the till. I even went to um, different, uh, you know, different locations like... Um, you know, holiday destinations and things like that. What can you buy in here? He's just stood out here all on his own. Um, is there something else up here? No. Wow, this place is empty. Okay, right, let's get some shopping done. Gretchen Stumpel. How much is that? 600? Yeah, we can just about afford that. Okay, let's have a quick chat with Gretchen. Let's get to know the young lady. Ooh. Where has she gone? Yeah, there you are. Hello, Gretchen. Greet. Ah, greet with a high five. There we go. Wow, that is a pout. I mean, that puts Angelina Jolie to shame, doesn't it? Oh, they like that. Okay, alright, so. Okay, so, right. Talk, chat. Talk, talk about hobby. Let's talk about food. Uh, let's entertain, let's tell a joke. Let's ask. Ah, uh, uh huh. Uh, hey, hey, baby, what turns you on? Okay. 